Hey guys, now welcome to DZ Studio. How na day? How are you guys doing today? Okay, so today I want to teach you guys how to make Nigerian swallow. Hey, God. The cassava swallow. Hmm? This cassava swallow looks like eba when you're done doing it. So this is how I do my, I first of all, filter it, you know, for the shaft to go off. I know it's not everybody that do this, but it's advisable you do it. Filter it. Can you see the shaft? Yes, that's the shaft. So by doing this, your swallow is going to be very smooth. So just keep on watching <laughs> while I filter. Okay guys, I am done with the filter, yeah? So it is time to start making the swallow, you know? So let me allow you guys to see the face of my stew, yeah. So the water is boiling now, but it is too hot for the swallow. Yes, it's too damn too hot. So we would off it, add a bit of cold water to it. Yeah, that's, that's the temperature we need to do this so this is how you do it you add the, the cassava flour little by little you don't put it at once you add it little by little you keep stirring you start stirring until you get the texture you're looking for when you stir a bit you add more flour you keep stirring add flour you add flour you keep stirring until you get that texture you are looking for. So you bring it down from the fire and stir properly. Why do you do this? so you can bust all the bubbles <laughs> okay so now it's time to save yeah if you're in if you're in if you're an african you know what i'm doing you make it smooth before you scoop you know so um i'm scooping well three people eating this food so i'm actually scooping for three people and i'm saving three people so i hope you enjoyed this video we're not done yet anyways but I hope you enjoy how I made my Nigerian swallow and how I'm serving it. Yeah, we also do this so it can come out very nice in the plate. This actually did not come out the way I like it, but it's okay. So it's time to serve. This is um, a goosey. You know, one of these days, I'm going to teach us how to make egusi. There are different type of ways to make egusi soup. So, yes, this, this is how we do it. Then you put the stew beside it. Mm-hmm.
all three meals are saved thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe leave a comment below and click the notification button so you'll be the first to get my video when i post thank you for watching bye